Russia is not backing down from its border with Ukraine. And troops from Fort Bragg could be the first deployed as the U.S. takes steps to help its NATO partners in the Ukraine. And new at noon, Skylar Henry brings us the very latest coming out of Washington. With Ukrainian troops manning the front lines, the U.S. is preparing to step in if needed. Around 8,500 American troops have now been put on higher alert, ready to deploy at short notice to NATO countries in Eastern Europe. This is about sending a strong message uh, that we're committed to NATO. NATO is reinforcing its eastern flank because Russia has 100,000 troops on the border with Ukraine. Moscow says it has no plans to invade, but many don't believe that. In 2014, Russian-backed separatists seized control of the Crimean Peninsula. This Ukrainian soldier says Russia won't stop. There is no negotiating with them. Here on Capitol Hill, the Biden administration will update House and Senate leaders today on the situation and is making plans to brief all lawmakers in the coming days. On Monday, President Biden had an 80-minute video call with European allies. I had a very, very, very good meeting, total unanimity with all the European leaders. In addition to putting troops on alert, the U.S. is sending $200 million in emergency military assistance and another shipment of military equipment. For its part, Russia says it's watching America's actions with, quote, great concern. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Do you think it places a political liability? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a well, there you had it. President Biden caught on a hot mic after a Fox reporter asked if inflation is a liability. Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey said the president called him a little bit later to apologize. And according to Ducey, said, quote, it's nothing personal, pal. Ducey said they did go on to have a nice conversation.